So you're thinking about selling your home on your own. You may be asking this question, is this the right call for you and your family? Hey, I'm Chase Gallimore with Exit Realty Shoals, and today we're diving into the world of FISBO, or For Sale By Owner. First things first, let's understand what FISBO actually means in the real estate world. It's basically when the owner sells their house without any representation from a real estate agent. I know, I know. Thank you, Captain Obvious, right? Now, you might be a pro at selling used furniture or maybe those antique bird cages on Marketplace, but selling a house, that's a totally different ball game. So is FISBO really worth it? Well, statistically speaking, it's usually not. Less than one in 10 home sellers took the FISBO route last year, and their median sell price was 11% less than those who used a real estate agent. Picture this, if you could sell your house for $218,000 with FISBO, an agent might help you sell it for $242,000. That's a $24,000 difference. Now, let's explore why some people still consider FISBO despite the potential downsides. Reason number one, cutting out the agent's commission. Sure, it sounds appealing, but the reality is an experienced agent could help you sell for way more even after the commission. Reason number two, you've got a buyer already lined up. Sounds convenient, right? But without an agent, you're basically on your own if things go south in this deal. Reason number three, speeding up the sale. Visbo homes do sell faster, but is it really worth sacrificing tens of thousands of dollars for a quicker deal? Reason number four, thinking it's an easy job. Selling a house involves more than you might think. Pricing, staging, marketing. It's practically a full-time job. In fact, it is a full-time job. That's what realtors do full-time. Now, if you're still considering FISBO, here's what you'll need to tackle on your own. First, price your home competitively. An agent's experience might help you avoid the pricing mistakes that could cost you big time. Next, stage your home for buyers. An agent's advice can guide you on what improvements will make your home more appealing. Then, you'll need to find buyers and arrange showings. An agent's network can give you access to more potential buyers than you might find on your own. And once you have offers, you'll need to pick a legit one with a mortgage pre-approval. Negotiating, it can get a little tricky and an experienced agent is your best ally in securing the very best deal. Finally, you'll need to manage mountains of paperwork and all that legal stuff. Trust me, having an agent to handle this for you can save you from all the headaches and potential mistakes. In conclusion, selling your home is a big deal. And going the FISBO route might not be the best idea. A real estate agent brings experience, expertise, and a network that could mean the difference in tens of thousands of dollars in your pocket. So before you DIY your home sale, consider the value a professional can bring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more real estate insights. I'm Chase Gallimore with Exit Realty Shoals and I wanna be your go-to guy when it comes to real estate right here in the show.